Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm installing some courtesy lights slash step lights. They're going to be little LED strips. I've seen other people's do the little logos. But I don't think they're that uh, convenient. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how I'm doing mine. So make sure you guys uh, stay tuned and here we go. Dirty dudes! So now that I have the door panel off, I'm going to be replacing the clips. Before you even think about doing any cutting, holes, drilling, make sure you check for clearance before you start doing any mod. I also want to add, if you want to see the complete video of me installing and removing the door panel on a 2004 Chevy S10 Blazer, check out the link popping up in your screen. So these come with a M3 tape. What I'm gonna do is make sure I put it where I know it's not gonna rub or interfere with anything. But before I do, I'm gonna clean it with some brake cleaner. I'm actually not gonna put this in the door panel. I'm actually gonna use a cloth and clean it. Cause this is really strong. It'll probably, this could um, actually damage the plastic so I'm gonna be doing a hole so I can pass the wire so it won't go in between the panel and the and the actual door look a little bit more sleek like I said always double check Make sure you guys don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and always feel free to leave a comment. I'm going to do some uh, holes to put some zip ties, just in case this sometimes wants to, the heat shit doesn't want to stick or something. So I'm going to be using some connectors just in case I need to remove the door panel so I don't need to cut or splice or anything out of the wire. So on the driver's side it's a little bit more complicated than the passenger. You have to take off these two bolts over here, the one in the back, there's one right here, and you have to take this part off. So there's one. Two, three, four. So I passed the wires through the frame through the outside to the inside and they came out through here close to the brake lever. So I'm going to be using a test light to check the negative and the positive. I'm going to be grounding the test light with the seats bracket. So the white looks to be the negative and the orange is the positive. And this light's hold by one uh, bolt. 
making sure you guys took in all the wires. Make sure nothing's getting able to get pinched. On the passenger side, I'm gonna be using this light as a power source. But first, I'm gonna be removing this panel with these two screws. So I removed the two screws holding up this plastic. And as you can see, the lights right here, I'm just gonna undo that screw to loosen the, the light so I could reach the, the wires. And it's gonna be my light source. I'll probably use the, the negative and the positive like I used on the driver's side. As you remember, the orange was the positive and the white was the, the negative. So I'm gonna be using 18 gauge wire. I'm gonna push it through the frame. Now I'm just gonna tuck in all the wires, make sure you don't uh, pinch any of the wires. Well, there you go guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the second part where I actually show how they look at during the night and the reason why I really installed them. So like always, thank you guys for watching and